Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer with Engineer and Training Exam.com, and in today's quick tutorial, we're going to review quadratic equations. We'll start off with this tutorial by defining a quadratic equation. We'll move on to solving quadratic equations using factoring. Then we'll move on to the quadratic formula and finish off with defining the discriminant. So what is a quadratic equation? In its simplest form, a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, where a cannot equal zero. So in other terms, a quadratic equation must have squared term as its highest power. So how do we solve quadratic equations? There are four methods of solving these equations. One, we can factor. Two, completing the square. Factor by grouping or using the quadratic formula. In this tutorial, in this quick review, we're going to talk about factoring and the quadratic formula. So a quadratic equation can be solved by factoring if, after writing that equation in its standard form, the quadratic expression factors. Completing this process can be done in four steps. Step number, number one is getting an equation, we want to simplify it. We want to take away any parentheses, division, we want to add like terms. Once simplified, we want to get it, that equation into the standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Step number three, factor. Once we have a factor, we want to solve. So that's all. Let's look at a quick example. Let's take the equation x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to zero. So the first step is to simplify. That's completed. Step number two, we want to get in its standard form. Once again, convenient, that's completed. Step number three, we want to factor. So in this case, this equation factors out to x plus 5 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we want this product to equal to 0. So in step number 4 we need to solve that and we can just visualize and see that we're going to get x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to 2. So this quadratic equation has two solutions x equal negative 5 and x equal 2. So let's talk about the quadratic formula. You can solve any quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. This is convenient when a quadratic equation does not factor or is difficult to factor. So once again, there's four steps, or excuse me, there's five steps in completing this process. Step number one is given an equation, we want to simplify just like that previous factoring. We want to get rid of any parentheses, division, we want to get rid of uh, or combine like terms. Step number two is the same as well. We want to get it into standard form. So once it's in standard form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, we can move on to step number three, which is we need to identify what a is equal, what b is equal, and what C is equal. Once we identify what A, B, and C is, we can take the quadratic formula, which is X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. So we just take our values of A, B, and C and we plug them into this equation. And then step number five would be whatever those values all are if we can simplify and make them complete whole numbers and that's great let's do that so once again let's look at a quick example let's take the equation 2 x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 once again step number one of simplifying is done 
Step number two of getting it in its standard form is completed. Step number three, in this case, A is equal to two, B is equal to negative five, and C is equal to one. Step number four, we take the quadratic formula and populate it. So in this instance, we're going to go minus of negative five plus or minus the square root of negative five squared minus four times two times one and that's all over two times two so let's move up here now that we have all of our values for a b and c plugged into the uh, quadratic formula we can solve and we get x is equal to five plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 8 divided by 4 and this doesn't simplify into uh, whole numbers or anything but we can simplify it a little bit as x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 17 divided by 4 so those are our two solutions for this quadratic equation so let's talk about the discriminant when we're given an equation or a quadratic equation, ax squared once again, bx plus c is equal to zero, right off the bat we can take a look at it and know if we can divide, define a, b, and c, we can define the discriminant. And if we can define the discriminant, then we can use a couple known factors to determine what our solutions are going to look like to these, this equation. So in other words, let me define it like this. The discriminant in the quadratic formula is that under the square root of the quadratic formula on the top, which is b squared minus 4ac. So we have all these defined in a given quadratic equation, and if we do, we can determine what type of solutions we should expect to see. So, in other words, we can put this into a table. Say we define our discriminant and that discriminant is less than zero. If it's less than zero, then there are going to be two distinct real number answers, solutions, to that quadratic equation. If that discriminant is equal to zero, then there's going to be one real number solution. If that discriminant is greater than zero, then there's going to be two distinct complex imaginary number solutions. So that's it. So the discriminant, once again, the e quadratic equation, minus b, plus or minus, the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This right here, that's the discriminant. So once we get a quadratic equation, we can determine what the value is of that discriminant, take it to our table, and know what, we ex know what to expect when we determine our solutions. So that's that. That's that quick uh, overview of quadratic equations. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the YouTube channel. Don't forget to head back over to engineeringtrainingexam.com and check out more free resources for you as you prepare for the engineer and training exam. So good luck, everybody. We'll be talking soon.